good afternoon everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me today we're looking at essentia and in particular setting up a master node i've seen some people in the groups having some difficulty getting this up and running the process is extremely straightforward so today's video is going to be short and sweet and to the point but before we get into it if this is your first time to the channel hit that subscribe button below and you'll get notified every time a new video goes up so let's get straight into it no messing about today okay so the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to the essentia website and download the latest version of the desktop app now this is updated regularly i i mean often on a daily basis so make sure you go to the website and have the latest version the current version is 1.4.1 so we're going to download that run it and set up the node right so when you go to run this application it's highly likely that windows will flag up a warning this is nothing to worry about it's very common for these types of apps to flag this so you just click on more info and click run anyway so when so when the process is completed and you've installed the app you'll need to import your account or create a new account now vast majority of you are going to need to create a new account so go ahead and do that now as you can see i've been using this for several weeks now i've set up my different wallet addresses here it's a pretty simple process you just go to add token type in whatever token you want to add and that's it it's created then you can start sending your token or coin to the wallet and you will need to do this for the ess token so the next stage once you've bought your ess and i presume you've bought that from uniswap or bitfinex you need to send it to this wallet and as you can see i have already sent some here i have got 400,000 essentia in my essentia erc20 wallet so once your tokens have arrived in the wallet the next stage is you need to swap these these need to be swapped from ess to ESSX in order to run the master node and so you simply go to token swap okay and this is where some people have been getting stuck at the moment you may as well put the gas price as fast because I know the transaction fee looks extremely high at the moment, 46 bucks. I've seen this up and on over 100 bucks. Selecting the fastest option gives it the most chance of going through. And these fees, Essentia, are refunding these fees for the whole month of March. So you might as well go and do your swaps now. I mean, that's an incredible gesture on their part because like i said these fees have been enormous anyways next thing we need to do is swap the token and so we're going to swap to master node that is where my ESSX tokens are there you go swap has started you will need ETH in your wallet to complete this swap obviously because somebody needs to pay for the fees because you will need to pay for the fees but like i said since you are refunding those fees for the month of March. Now, this process, as you can see, states here that it is pending. This can take a while. I've seen this take from 15 minutes to several hours. So if it's pending for a couple of hours, don't panic. Just keep an eye on it. And if you are concerned about this pending process, you can always reach out to support in their Telegram group. Hugely helpful in there. A guy called Roman. Absolute superstar. Right, so I've already done this process. As you can see, I have over 100,000 ESSX tokens. And so the next thing we need to do is click on a master node. As you can see, I have several of these running. And so we scroll down here and we click on deploy master node. Pick a name. Let's call this LFC 3.0. We'll ask you how many days you want to pay for it. I am currently selecting 30 days. Another amazing thing here at the moment, I think up until the end of April, since you are covering all the server fees also. 
and um, so that's absolutely insane you'll need 100,000 ESSX to set up this obviously and you simply click on setup master node and it says thanks a million wait for 20 minutes that's it that is how simple it is you'll see down here it'll show as in progress if you want to see the actual progress click on here and this will update with four or five different confirmation levels and that is it super super easy once you have the swap from ESS to ESSX it is super simple it's essentially three clicks and your nodes up and running and so that is it that is how to set up a master node or Essentia like I said if you have any problems reach out to them on telegram they are super helpful we had an update here as you can see yeah we've had an update the deployment has been confirmed the collateral transaction has been sent and we're now doing the collateral transaction confirmation like this is super simple it is pretty quick you shouldn't have any problems at all setting this this up patience is virtue you might need a bit of that but um yeah that's about it so let me know in the comments box below if you're having any issues let me know what you think of Essentia and their master nodes. I absolutely love them. I'm going to be setting up more of these. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As I said, let me know in the comments box what you think of Essentia. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you didn't, well, hit the dislike button. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.